Now, Chopra hasn't competed since Tokyo and has called time on a season after finding no time to practice following endless rounds of felicitations. He's just the second individual sportsperson from India to win an Olympic gold and the first Indian athlete to be on the Olympic podium. Now, earlier this week, I caught up with the president of World Athletics, Lord Sebastian Koh, who himself is a two-time Olympic champion, and I asked him about reports that he got emotional seeing Chopra win gold three weeks ago. Listen in. Yes, he's right. I was emotional. My grandfather was uh, was Indian. My mother was born in Delhi, so I have a strong Indian heritage and and, and family living in India. So for me, um, that was a, a really important moment. I recognise not just how important it was for Indian sport, but emotionally, that was important for me as well. Lotko, I asked uh, Neeraj after his win, what next? And he said, I need the World Championship medal to complete my set. Now, as someone who was part of competitive sport for two decades at the very highest level, what would your advice be to Neeraj as he embarks on the next phase of his career? Well, I, I'm not sure I'm best placed to advise somebody who is an outstanding javelin thrower, but I can speak, I can speak maybe more broadly. Uh, it is very important that he remains grounded, that he remains present, uh, that he continues to do all the things in the environment that he's done them that has proven so successful to him uh, and to Indian sport. And look, he doesn't have long to wait for a world championships. He literally has a few months because next year, this time next year, uh, we'll have already had uh, the world championships in Eugene. And that is, I'm sure, somewhere he will hope that he is able to shine. Uh, it's a new stadium. It will be a fantastic championships. But he also has the Commonwealth Games next year as well. So there's an awful lot for him uh, to look forward to. And this is a good moment in his career. But to remain grounded, to remain firmly rooted in the environment that he that has proven so successful to him thus far. Lotko, you mentioned uh, your historic roots with India. And for the longest time, in a sense, Indian athletics on the big stage has been about near misses and regrets. You know, you go back to the late Milka Singh in 1960, Gurbachan Randhawa 1964, Sri Ram Singh, who you competed against uh, in 1976, Montreal, and then P.T. Usha in Los Angeles, where you won the gold. Now, those two throws at Tokyo seem to have shattered the cynicism once and for all surrounding Indian athletics. Well, I think his victory has done two things. It will have confirmed in his mind that he can win at the very, very highest level. Uh, very few people end their careers with as Olympic champions. He has achieved that now. He can build on that, and that's what I hope he does. But I think also it has got people in India to understand that there may be uh, other sports and cricket and, and maybe Formula One. Um, athletics is a sport that India is now really performing very well at. Uh, Adil, uh, the Federation President, uh, and my World Athletics Council member, has been incredibly active in the last few years in creating and providing the opportunities for athletes, uh, not just to compete, but to be uh, put to the right coaches and the right coaching structures. And so I think a great deal of credit should uh, fall at his feet. You mentioned uh, the road uh, and the sort of growth of Indian athletics. Uh, there's also a road map which is probably now producing results because India has consistently won medals at the Asia and Commonwealth Games. It was always sort of the World Championships and the Olympics that remained a bridge too far. But now belief must be searching, especially seeing those medals coming for the juniors at the World Under-20. Yeah, it's, it's exactly as I said, that this will have given other Indian athletes confidence to believe that they can do uh, what he has done and win an Olympic title, uh, whether it's in race ball, whether it's in mixed relays, or, or, or whether it's in uh, other field or, and, and track events. It's a very, very important glass ceiling that has been broken. 
Yes, uh, Lord Ko, thank you for your time. It's always a privilege to be able to speak to you. Hopefully, we have seen the dawn of a new era in Indian athletics at Tokyo. I hope you're right. Thank you very much indeed.